Smell them. Have you smelled these yet? Smell them again. What do they smell like? They don't smell like food. Greetings, and welcome to another edition of Aqua Cooking. On today's episode, we're going to be making a cheeseburger pizza burger. Pizza burger! How fucking <laughs> rich. <laughs> you can do with this but what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a pizza and make burgers separately and then we're gonna use the pizza as the bun for the burger so the first key ingredient that we're gonna need is dough now we're gonna need cheese we're gonna need hamburger sauce butter and a special ingredient, like always, bacon. <laughs> Maple bacon. Now that we got our ingredients, let's start cooking. Now the first thing we're going to do is we got to get the pizza going. So you want to prep up the oven to 425. Remember the times when you were late in kindergarten and got a color? That's what you gotta do with the pan. Color in the lines. Well, I don't know, because what you're really doing is you're coloring it all one color. So you're gonna take a picture and you're just gonna paint it one color and not add anything. You're not even gonna see the lines anymore. So it's not really like coloring in kindergarten. Well, although in kindergarten. it is. Because in kindergarten, nobody colors in the lines. Nor you know, did they care about what the picture looked like. So. Not even the teachers. So just color the whole thing one color, then. Did you really care about the whole thing? Being I made? always care. Now, when you're making the pizza, you want to get a little bit more flour on there as possible, you know? You don't want a bunch, and when you actually put it on the pan, you don't want really any flour on there. Because the flour does not, it'll stay. It'll stay on the bottom of the pizza, and it'll kind of give it like a weird flakiness to it, you know? So I'm just trying to use as little as possible, but it's enough. If that makes sense, then uh, it must be related. Now, it's better on like a steel surface to actually move the pizza. It's very tough on a cutting board because it's rigid, you know. It's, it's going to be kind of hard to just keep moving. See how it's not really doing anything? It's not going to do anything. So, you got to work with what you got. So basically what I do is I just start stretching where I made those indents. An interesting fact about pizza is that about 350 slices of pizza is consumed every second in the United States. Every second. And that's just in one continent. Why are you spurting interesting facts? Do you hear the camera guy saying anything? Forget what happened the last time? I don't want to talk about the eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Shells. Ugh. <laughs> now, if you're curious to wonder if flipping dough into air with a Frankenstein mask is hard, it is. It's kind of tough to see the motion. Luckily, he's used to punching people in the face, so he knows where he's putting those knuckles. Normally, it's either hair of my kid that I'm hitting. Oh, just kidding about the kid part, but not him. Why do you think I gotta use the glasses? Yeah. I've already told him twice. I tell him the third time his butthole is gonna be hurting. I'm not gay. Now I know what you're thinking. My god, he must have worked at a pizza shop. It's true. I used to work at a pizza shop. I don't wanna stretch the pizza dough too thin. What happens is it'll poke a hole. And then you're just gonna cry a lot. You know? You... Maybe fetal position might be inquired. Yeah, you don't, you don't wanna do that. All right, now we're going to take some basil, actually I'm going to take some thyme and some parsley, put it down 
on the pan before you even put the dough on. Sprinkle it on. The reasoning, because the, these ingredients are actually going to get cooked into the dough in the bottom of the crust. Give it a nice flavoring of differenceness. Differenceness. New word, 2013. Finish it off with a little bit of adobo. If you don't use adobo, I don't know why you're watching this. I'm still watching. Still watching. Please. And then pour us around, please. When we get this in the oven, you're going to start off with 14 minutes as a starter. It usually takes longer, but you don't want to, you don't want to chance it, you know? Oh no. Now, if a hole does uh, occur, Freak what out. do you do about it? Throw it away and start over. No, not really. What you could do is take a little bit of water and put it onto the dough. It makes it so it's easier to meld it back together. Could you just rip off a piece from another part? And... No, it doesn't work that way. Okay, now that's all prepped up. Normally what I do is I take string cheese. You can try this. I don't need to do it today. Normally I take string cheese and I make a nice border of it on the outside and then fold the crust in. Now what it's going to do is when you take a bite of that crust, string cheese. Ridiculous, huh? Come on. String cheese. What we're going to do is take that flat and fold it in. Right over the cheese. The sauce that I'm choosing today is Prego, but it's the marinara kind. You know, it gives it that real, true, authentic pizza taste. You do all sorts of variations when it comes to the sauce. You're making a cheeseburger pizza and you're using this as the bun, so you can actually take your condiments that you want to put on your burger and make it as a sauce. So if you want ketchup, mustard, relish, just mix it all together, put it down like a sauce, or just, you know, take the ketchup, go like this, you know? You do all different variations. I'm going to show you what I'm doing. The only thing I wouldn't do is mayo, because, uh, hot mayo, that just, uh, that just sounds disgusting. It's not good for you. Not, it probably isn't good for you, but I mean, just, the you know, thought of, like, creamy, hot mayo just dripping all over the place. If Nobody you, wants that. If you want it, just put it on at the end. And, and don't talk to us about it, you know, don't tell us, because I don't want to know. Yeah, it we don't look at it. Don't. Interesting fact. The three dots in the Domino's logo represent the first three Domino stores. I did not know that. Hmm. I thought they were just pepperoni pieces. Yep. Did you also know that over three billion pizzas are sold every year in the United States alone? Now mind you, I'm just making a cheese pizza, but you can do whatever you want. The combinations are endless. Don't be scared. And this pizza is going to taste way better than some pizza you get at Domino's and whatnot. You know? It's good to help out a mom and pop shop with those big, huge chains. For the same price, you can do it yourself. If you get the ingredients at BJ's, it's even cheaper. BJ's sponsored us in 2014. Also, dirt is not a good thing to put on. It does not mix well. And if you're one of those people that like your pizza with sardines and anchovies, do me a favor, never talk to me again. That is disgusting. You never, you never turn the oven on. Yeah, it, 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 it. Yeah, well, and then you press start. I so we're going to be waiting a little bit longer than expected on the pizza because, uh, It's, that's why he's an assistant. That's why. So if you're wondering why doesn't he have his own show, because of things like that. If he had his own show, nothing would be cooked. Everything would just be raw. I use pineapple. He just used pineapple. Just every it's episode would be like him pineapple. cutting a pineapple. Nothing else. His bacon would be my pineapple. Exactly. So we're gonna put this on the oven over here. And we gotta wait ten minutes because uh. You know. You know. Why? Because my assistant is going to remain an assistant. Because I'm a genius! I'll uh, myself prefer 85.15 in terms of hamburger meat itself. Pop it in there. About a pound's worth. I'm going to do about half a pound of bacon. Now what I want to do is I want to cut it up into small little pieces, you know? 
Now, I'm not really sure how good this is going to come out. I've never done it before. Kind of like my bacon virginity. This one thing. This one. He's going to break that sauce. I know it's only July, but I really like a meat grinder. So if anybody wants to give me one or sell me one for nothing, I'll totally buy it for free. Did you know that in the, just the United States alone, about 13 billion hamburgers are consumed every year. And if you took those burgers and lined them in a row, it circled the earth 32 times. Not only can I cook, but I'm smart. Wicked smart. Seriously, I'd try like a, a griddle, I mean a, a grinder, I would. Just buy a grinder. Yeah. But, I mean, it's like not just for this. Subway, don't even try to cook it, you know what I mean? Like, who wants to learn how to cook? Pay somebody else to do it for you, you know? Just with these generations coming up. Exactly. They learn from the you. We're all meant to be lazy. That's what life is. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. No, seriously. Seriously. Look at that. What well, you could do if you had a meat tenderizer to make these burgers even fantastic, or take the sirloin steak. Tenderize, you know, put that through the grinder with the hamburger, I mean with the, uh, the bacon instead. So it'd be sirloin steak burgers. It'd be ridiculous. So in other words, if you had a grinder, you don't even have to use hamburger. Your possibilities are endless. Chicken, whatever you want to do, just grind it. Grind it, mix it. Cheese, throw it in the grinder. Do it. Now we already added the bacon and the cheese to the hamburger. Now what we're gonna do is once the, the grill's heated up to a nice 350, we'll make the patties, put them down, and then start cooking them. I don't really know how long it's gonna take in regards to the hamburger, because I've never done it with the bacon before. But I seen a butcher do it once, and I'm like, if he can do it, I can do it. I mean, yeah, he had a grinder and all these other cool old tools he used with, you know, he, he used steak instead of a hamburger, but hey, you know, get what you get. And griddle, 2013. Never forget. You don't even have to leave the butter on there. I just like knowing that the surface is consistently hot throughout. And that's the way I tell. You can touch it with your finger if you want, but you're probably gonna get hurt, so don't touch it with your finger. We don't condone touching hot surfaces with fingers. It is not an okay thing to do. Don't do it. Don't. How this is gonna work, how this is gonna look, how everything's gonna taste, I'm not sure. But that's the power of cooking, experimentation. If you're not willing to experiment, you should never went to college. You know what I mean? You get it? You get, you get the, get the you, gay joke? Do you get it? That was, that was a joke. Now, Peter tried changing a name of a town in New York called Hamburger. They tried giving him Hamburg. 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 New York. Name New, York. New York. Not Hamburger. They tried giving him 15000 Dollars just to change it to veggie burger. Veggie burger. Of course, if you look, that never happened. The town is still known as hamburger because I mean they didn't take it. No. They wanted it to be known as a you know place where everyone wanted to go. Now the way to tell if the pizza's done is you want to touch the, the dough. So touch the side of the crust, and if it sinks in too easily. Usually you have a man do it. And normally for my burgers, I like to add a bunch of ingredients to them. Uh, egg, Italian uh, seasonings, breadcrumbs, you know. It's almost like a meatloaf burger. They come out fantastic and I like it, but some people just prefer the simpler things to like. Like bacon, and mozzarella shredded cheese. So that's why I added to these.
It's usually what he says to all the girls in that voice, too. For some reason, they buy it. They're like, oh, we should fix that. I don't understand. Women, 2013. I don't get them. The first thing you're going to do is put it on an oven mate. I have to tell him this because if you ever seen Grandma's Boy, I think he'd be like, Ooh, dinner time. We don't condone that. Whether you smoke some or not, don't do it. Look at that. That looks ridiculous. Look at that. It looks ridiculous. I eat some. You know, if you really want to change with the diabetes, you can uh, cook the pizza the way that we cooked it a while back ago. Make it with no dough and use bacon. Whoa. How do you think that's going to be diabetes right there, guy? That's more like high cholesterol and clogged arteries. You know, just grease on grease on grease. And heart problems? High heart problems. A lot of other shit. But I don't know too much about diabetes. I don't think it's going to be like that. It's more of a sugar intake. You know a lot about diabetes. And you're going to know a lot about dying. Interesting fact. During World War One. The U.S. government wanted to change hamburgers into Liberty Burgers. Liberty Burger. Drop this! Yeah. yeah, I understand, you know, back in World War One, But not now! You leave it as burgers! Now, burgers are basically done. What I'm going to do, now that it's been cooking for a little while, turn that temp all the way to 400. You know? It's already crispy, so now you just want to get those insides nice and good. No matter like my burgers medium, medium rare. But I'm going for a well done on this, just because of the bacon. You know? I don't want it to bite into a nice, juicy, bloody burger, and then get a piece of more for our bacon, you know? Never done it before, so we're trying things. Now, like I said earlier, you can add condiments, you can do whatever you want. We're going to keep it simple with just this. I know, it's not really that simple, but we've done. But, you don't have to do as much as us. It's not going to taste as good, but... Well, I don't know about much as us. I mean, you can just add different things. Instead of pizza sauce, like I said, that's regular condiments that you do for a burger. You know? I bet it tastes really good. Instead of pizza sauce, you add a barbecue sauce. You know what I mean? Some nice little barbecue sauce, some nice little honey with the cheese. Bake that, and then put the burger in between that. I did. They just come to me. Get my fancy plate. Right? Take it like that. It's already folded. It's already ready to go. Use spatula to take the hamburger off. Don't use your fingers. Just put the bread in. Like that. Right down on it. And that's how you make a cheeseburger, pizza, burger. Boom! But, but ah! Till next time.